guys, here's my chicken parm stuffed spaghetti squash recipe. Let's go. All right, what you're gonna need is one spaghetti squash. You're gonna need chicken. I have six ounces of chicken, some fat-free mozzarella cheese, salt, pepper, olive oil, marinara sauce. I have one egg beaten already, some flour, and breadcrumbs. Um, what I use for breadcrumbs is wheat germ. The macros on this are amazing. I have Parmesan cheese and then the chicken seasoning. If you have a food scale, it's a great investment. You can get it really cheap for about 20 bucks at Walmart. All right, so what you wanna do is split it in half. So you can take a knife and make a, basically make a dotted line all the way around and then stick it in the microwave, heat it up for three to five minutes, cut down the middle, and then we'll get going from there. All right, so normally I will let it cool, but it's like eight something now and I'm really hungry, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it open. That looks hot. All right, awesome. So you're gonna wanna scoop everything out, all the seeds and the mush, and I'll be right back. So I'm just cooking for myself for tonight, so I'm just gonna use half. You score it a couple times, so whenever you put the seasonings in it, it gets caught and trapped inside. All right, so I'm gonna add a little pepper and some salt. A little bit of salt. Be careful if you're cutting while you use salt. After the salt and pepper, you're gonna to wanna to put some olive oil. I don't have any olive oil and I don't feel like buying any, but I have this pan spray olive oil. So I'm just gonna spray it with this. Spray it down, cover everything up, just like that. And then you wanna put it face down in the pan and put it in for 40 minutes. All right, so you need to have your oven set to 380. Have your spaghetti squash in the pan with some aluminum foil in the center. Set a timer for 40 minutes and then we'll get started on the chicken. All right, so I have my six ounces of seasoned chicken. I'm about to braid it up. All you're gonna need is the egg, uh, one single egg, some flour, and your wheat germ. All right, so you can take your chicken strip, dip it in the flour, cover it nice and even, then dip it in the egg wash. And then get hit that wheat germ. Nice and even on each side. You don't want chunks everywhere. All right, that's one. All right, so one thing I do is I cut my chicken strips into smaller pieces. That way it doesn't take long to cook and you can literally throw them in into the oven the last to five to 10 minutes of it, of your squash cooking. All right, so I just put some extra wheat germ on the chicken so it's fully breaded everywhere. This is something, like I said, this is something you do, you can throw it in the last five to 10 minutes of um, the spaghetti squash cooking. Quick tip while you're cooking at home, if you have any wait time, wash your dishes. Nothing is worse than having to have a home cooked meal, finish eating it, and then have a whole ton of dishes to do. So I'm gonna do that now, and I'll come back once we're ready. We have 15 minutes left. You're gonna crank that temperature up to 400. So there are five minutes, so you're gonna add in the chicken. 
and then you'll be all set to go. Hit 10 minutes, I'm a little late on it, but you know, pull it out. Get you your chicken, get you some non-stick spray. And then on the sides of where you have spaghetti squash, you're gonna spray. Take the chicken. I always have a little tiny piece of chicken whenever I'm cooking chicken, whether it be grilled, oven, fried, whatever. Um, I always have a really small piece. And then whenever I feel like time's coming close, I cut it in half to see how much longer I need to leave it in. So, so we hit that 10 minute mark. So we're going to pull our bread. There it is. I'm going to pull everything out. Remember that small piece of chicken that I told you about? You're going to want to cut that in half. So make sure it's cooked all the way through. Alright, it's cooked all the way through. So, the next step, we're going to want to get a plate. And a special. Alright. You're gonna scoop up. And get a fork. Now, you're gonna wanna score. I'll bring this over here. There's gonna be a little bit of oil. You could drain it out if you like. Whew. All right, you're gonna score along here. And basically, this is what makes the spaghetti. Bruh. All right. So whenever you get it all taken out, if there's any extra moisture, just drain that out. Drain, drain, drain. <laughs> Alright. So after that, marinara sauce. Once you get a smaller plate, use my food scale, put the plate on. One serving is half a cup. Half a cup is 125 grams. Let me drain that out a little bit more. Uh -huh. 125 grams. I don't need it. So I'm gonna zero that back out. Pop this open. 125 grams. Ooh, that's a lot. I don't even need all that, but. 126, good enough. All right, all right, next, when you get the chicken, place it in your spaghetti squash bowl. Now, I have two servings of cheese measured out already. Place it back in the oven for about five minutes. Or until your cheese melts. And we'll be, we'll be back when that's done. So our timer just ran out. Hit it with some Parmesan cheese. And it's ready to go. Let me know what you guys think. I'll put the macros on the screen. Like, comment, subscribe, and be ready for the next video.